Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879, and this is start number 31 of the 1967 Mike McCormick Starts Only Replay. The Giants head to Chavez Ravine to face the Dodgers, and and Claude Osteen is your uh, starting pitcher for the Dodgers. Uh, McCormick uh, coming into the game is 13-11, and 11, and in 205 innings pitched, he's given up 71 earned runs, 65 walks, and 125 strikeouts with a 3.11 ERA. And we'll go ahead and go over the defensive lineup for the Gi or for the for the Dodgers. Uh, Jim Lefevre at first, Luis Alcaraz at second, uh, Bob Bailey at third, uh, Nate Oliver at short, Lou Johnson in left, Wes Parker in center. And Al Ferrara in right. And behind the plate is Jim Campanis. All right. And leaning off for the Giants, the left fielder, Jesus Alou. And a 1-6 against the lefty. 1-5 to five double chance. That's a 13. So reaching on a single is Alou. And he will not be held on. Now we'll bring up the shortstop, Hal Lanier. Not holding on Alou. Hmm, let's see, hit and run. And against the lefty. And it'll swing away. Two, four, fly ball to right. And Ferraro under it, puts it away, one down. And I'll bring up William McCovey. One nine, swing and a miss, strike three, two down. And I'll bring up Willie Mays, the center fielder. And a four nine is a base hit to left field. Not holding on, Alou. Puts him in a 16, two outs, makes him a... 18 because he had two and that's hit the left field Johnson is a zero arm so one to 18 he's they're gonna send him the throw there is not in time and the loom moves to third and so runs on the corners two down here's Jim Ray Hart the third baseman And 2-7 draws a walk, so bases are loaded for Ollie Brown. Playing right field. And here's the pitch to Brown. No place to put him. One nine. <laughs> Excuse me. Ground ball to short. And they'll say he goes the short way to get Hart. And that will retire the side. Giants leave him loaded. And after a half inning, it's the Giants nothing and the Dodgers coming to bat. And the defensive line lineup for the Giants, excuse me. Timeout. I must have something caught in my throat. All right. Around the infield for the Giants, you have... Mc Willie McCovey at first, uh, Tito Fuentes at second, Jim Ray Hart at third, and Helenier at short, Jesus Salou in left, Willie Mays in center, and Ollie Brown in right, and Bob Barton behind the plate. All right, and here comes Nate Oliver to lead off to the bottom of the first. Six, seven, second base X. And Fuentes, a three and a five, should be able to get to that. And he does. As Fuentes gets it and throws the first to get Oliver one down. And here's Wes Parker. Five, eight, and against the righty, that's my one of my least favorite rolls in this replay. That's not one to three, but that'll be a single. And they will, well, for a B-Stealer, he starts at a 
13 minus two for Barton puts him at an 11. So we will hold him on. And that'll bring up Lou Johnson. Another 5 8 roll, and this time it's another single. So runners on the corners with one out. And that'll bring up Al Ferrara. And timeout. All right. Final ball, and we'll do it again to Ferrara. 4 10. And against the righty, that's ball four. So bases are loaded, and one out for Lefevre. Uh, since it's the first inning, they'll play back. And whoops, get that. All right, and here's the pitch to a fever. Two seven. Ground ball to the mound. And this has been great for you know, one hole in the two column. They'll throw to second to get Ferrara. The return throw, not in time. Lefevre beats it out. Parker scores from third. And Johnson will move the th move to third, but there are two outs. And the Dodgers lead 1-0. And it's retired and goes to first. So two down. And here's Bob Bailey, the third baseman. One five, and that's a ground ball to short. And that'll be scooped up by Lanier and throws the first to retire the side. Did a good job only giving up just the one, but the Giants trail one nothing going to the second. And deal up for the Giants, Barton, Fuentes, and McCormick. And let's see Barton's stats there, and I'll pull up his card. All right. Barton, the right-handed hitting catcher. Six, seven, second base X. And Alcaraz is not a one, so that's a base hit. And Barton leaves off, leads off with a single. Here's Tito Fuentes. They will not be holding on Barton. Two, four. Popped up behind home plate. And the catcher, Campanis, throws off the mask and makes the play one down. And the, they will be exp the corner is going to be coming in expecting a bunt, and McCormick will bunt. It'll be a C bunter. C and a seven is fine. Just got to find out where the buck goes. C seven. So it goes to the first baseman. And Lefevre throws to Alcaraz covering. Complete the sacrifice, run in scoring position, but two down. And then I'll bring up Jesus Alou. And once again, geez, I gotta control myself rolling these dice. All right. And we'll try this again. Hold on a second. All right. Geez, and once again, Doing a nice job following off pitches is Alou. And we'll do it again. Strike two, if it happens again, I almost want to give him an automatic strikeout. Here's the pitch to Alou. That's better. 4-10. And no, it won't. That's a fly ball to right. And there is Ferrara to retire the side. So, Giants leave another runner on. We go to the bottom of the second. Dodgers won. Giants nothing. And do up for the Giants, bottom third of the order. 
Campanus, Alcaraz, and Osteen. And one second while I pull up. There's Alcaraz. All right. Actually, I gotta pull up Campanus's card first. It's like a timeout. Okay, and here's Jim Campanis. Four eight ground ball to first. McCovey sets on the base himself. One down. And here's Luis Alcaraz. Or Alcaraz. I don't. Know. Five seven, and that's a ground ball to short. Linear fires first two down, and that'll bring up Osteen using pitcher hitting card number six. Four eight, and Osteen is a lefty. That's a ground ball to second, and front test retires Osteen. And that'll retire the side. One, two, three inning for the Dodgers here in the second. We go to the third. Dodgers won, Giants nothing. And do it for the Giants, Lanier, McCovey, and Hay Mays. Two, four, and that's a fly ball to right. And Lanier has gotten to know Al Ferraro. Well, that's the second time he's flown out to him, one down. And here's Willie McCovey. And a 1-5. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. McCovey's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's Willie Mays. Two seven. One to five single chance, but that's a 17. So line drive caught by the shortstop uh, Oliver. And that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the third. Giants trail, one nothing. And do it for the Dodgers. Top third of the order, Oliver, Parker, and Johnson. And here's the pitch to Oliver. Six four. That's to the shortstop, and that will not be in range for Lanier. He's an E21. E21 and a 9 should be okay. And it is. So Oliver grounds it. Lanier gets to it, throws the first to get Oliver. One down. And here is Wes Parker. 2-2. Two, two, ground ball to third. And Hart gets to it and throws the first two down. And that'll bring up Alpha. Oh, that will not bring up Alpha. That'll bring up Blue Johnson. 4-10. And he draws a two-out walk. And they will hold. And they probably won't hold on. No, they will not hold on Johnson with the, the catcher being a minus two. All right. So here's Al Ferrara. And a 4 9. That's not a one. So that's a line drive caught by the third baseman Hart. And that will retire the side. Three completed. Chavez Ravine. Dodgers lead 1-0. And do up for the Giants. Hart, Brown, and Barton. And 
Here's the pitch to Jim Ray Hart. One five, another ground ball to short. And Oliver is there. One out, and here's Ollie Brown. Five, seven, and that's a five, and cutting it off in center field is Wes Parker, and he holds Brown to a single. And bring up Bob Barton, not be expecting a bunt here. And here's the pitch to Barton. Go. 210 against the lefty and he hit him and that would be with injury but we're not playing injuries so first and second one out and that'll bring up Tito Fuentes Five, eleven, ground ball to short. The, the Oliver to Alcaraz onto Lefever inning ending double play. <sighs> I probably could have had Fuentes bunt there, but you'll never know. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. Giants trail one nothing. And do up for the Dodgers, Lefevre, Bailey, and Campanis. One six, and that's a fly ball to center. Mays will track it down. One out, and here is Bailey. One ten and a fly ball to right, and Ali Brown is camped under it. Two down. And then I'll bring up Jim Campanis. And Campanis uh, grounded out his first time up. For 11, ground ball to short, and Lanier. Gobbles it up, throws the first, and that will retire the side. Four complete here at L.A. Dodgers lead, 1-0. Do it for the Giants, McCormick, Alou, and Lanier. And McCormick laid down a successful sacrifice his first time up, but he will be swinging away this time against Osteen, who is pretty darn good against lefties. That's not a terrible card. And 2-9 almost gets the walk, but ground ball to first, and Lefevre steps on the bag himself, one out. And here is Jesus Alou. For 7, a 1-15 to single chance, that's a 2, and that'll pass. So Alou is 2 for 3 on the day, if the rest of the lineup would be obliged to help out. That'd be great, too. Here's Halanier flung out twice to the right fielder. Two, seven. And once again, ground ball to short. Oliver to Alcaraz on to Lefevre. Inning ending, double play. Second time in as many innings that the Giants have ended their half of the inning with a double play. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. Dodgers lead, 1-0. And do up for the Dodgers, Alcaraz, Osteen, and Oliver. Oops.
Okay, and here's Alcaraz against McCormick. Alcaraz granted a short his first time up. 3-6 against the lefty. It is a ground ball to first. McCovey takes it to the base himself. One down, and here's Osteen. Three, seven, swing and a miss, strike three. Two down. And that'll bring back top of the order, Nate Oliver, 0 for 2 at two ground outs. Three, nine, and that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So back to back strikeouts in the top, bottom of the fifth. We go to the sixth. Dodgers still lead, 1-0. And McCovey, Mays, and Hart do up here in the top of the sixth. And here, here's McCovey to lead off the top of the sixth. 4-8 against the lefty. 1-8 single chance. That's a 5. And McCovey leads off with a single. And four eight. Whoops, sorry, I read four nine. My bad. Four eight against the lefty is a ground ball to first. And oh, Lefevre will take it himself. One out. My, oops. My bad. Misread the dice. Okay. And here's Willie Mays. One, seven, and that's an eight, and that's a one to two. This time it's a single. One to two would have been a triple, but that's an eight, so that's just a single. Missed a home run by one spot. And that'll bring up Jim Ray Hart. Four nine base hit the left field, and they were not holding Mays on, although they should have. Uh, bumps him up to an eighteen. Uh, left fielder Johnson has no arm, so one to eighteen, and he will make it the third. And that's a nine. He makes it there. So first and third with one down, and the Dodgers will be calling the infield in for Ollie Brown. Six ten. The fly ball to center. Parker is a three, and a thirteen will probably be in range. So six ten center field. It's fourteen. Hold on. Yeah, okay, that was a thirteen, not a that was a fourteen, not a thirteen. A fourteen is in range, and he gets to it, and Mays cannot score from third. Unbelievable. So fly ball C, that's what happens. Two down, infield normal, and here's Bob Barton. Singled and hit by a pitch. For 11, fly ball to center. It's been a nice result to have last batter. There is Parker, and that will retire the side. The Giants strand two more, and we're through five and a half. Dodgers lead, one nothing. And leading off is for or two up for the Dodgers, Parker, Johnson, and Ferrara here in the sixth. Four 
three, four, fly ball to center. May Silch under it, puts it away. One down, and here is Blue Johnson. Four, seven, swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, and here's Al Ferrara. You know, one five, and that ball is crushed to deep center field. Going back is Mays. He looks up and out of here. One to 13 homer chance, and that's a two, and that gets out of here pretty easily. And the uh, Dodgers take a two nothing lead. And here's Jim LaFever. 3-5, base hit to center field. And that'll bring up Bob Bailey. Three five again. This time it's a ground ball to second. And only play is the first, and that will retire the side. Giants get one more, and we go to the seventh. Giants lead 2-0. And do up for the Giants, Fuentes, McCormick, and Alou. And here's Fuentes to lead off the top of the seventh. This is Osteen's point of weakness setting. For eight, popped up to the right side of the infield, and there's uh, Oliver, one down, and that'll bring up McCormick. Three, four, ground ball back to the mound. Osteen takes care of it, two down. And here's Jesus Salou. Two nine ground ball to short, and Oliver is there. Gets it, throws the first. Stretch time here in Dodger Stadium. Dodgers lead two nothing. And Senior take me out to the ball games at the old ball game. And McCormick will face bottom third of the order: Campanis, Alcaraz, and. Osteen. All right. Here's Campanus. Two ten. That's a fly ball to left, and Alou is camped under it. One away. And here's Alcaraz. One five, base hit to center field. And that will bring up Osteen. They will be expecting a bunt. And he will be bunting, he'll be a C bunter. C and a Four is going to be an excellent bunt. Petra McCormick gets it, throws to first. They may barely get Osteen. We'll call that one four in the sacrifice. And oops, Alcaraz moves to the second. Two down. I'll bring up Nate Oliver, chance to add another insurance run for the Dodgers. Six, seven, second base X, and seven could be in the top of the range for Fuentes. Yes, it is. He will get it, throw to first, and that will retire the side. We go to the eighth. 
Dodgers lead 2 0. Do up for the Giants. Lanier, McCovey, and Mays. And here's the pitch to Lanier. Six nine. And that's against a righty. And that's a good thing that's not one to eight, because one to eight would be normal home run, but that only been a single since it's a 13. That's a leadoff double for Hal Lanier. And the Giants will say the, the Giants have a runner on first. Nobody down. And Phil Regan and Bob Miller are loosening in the pen. And here's Willie McCovey. With one swing of the bat could tie this game up. Two seven draws a walk, and they are going to go directly to the pen. Let's see, you got what Mays, Hart, and Brown, all righties. Oh, hey, man. Or either not that great, but at least Regan does not give the home up the home run chances. So they will bring in Phil Regan to pitch to the relieve Osteen. First and second, nobody out, and here's Willie Mays. One seven, one to nineteen, single chance. Sorry, one seven. Sorry, one to twelve, double chance. And that's a eighteen. That's a single. Scoring from second is Lanier. Going to third is McCovey. And it's a two to one game. And with runners on the corners, they will bring the infield in. And here is Jim Ray Hart. Two seven. That's a six. And doesn't matter if the infield's in or back, that ball is hit over the head of the center fielder Parker. In to score from third is McCovey. The third is Mays. He will be held there. And a double for Hart. And the game is tied at two. And that'll bring up Ollie Brown. Infield still in, trying to keep the game tied. With nobody out. There's Brown facing Regan. Two, four. Popped up. Right side of the infield. Calling for it is the shortstop, Oliver. One down. The, and they will pinch hit for Barton. Possibly they will pinch it for Barton. Mm. And they will have Tom Holler pinch hit for Barton. Barton did go. Uh, one for two, and it was hit by a pitch, but they will call on. Holler will pinch hit and catch in the eighth. All right. And they'll keep Regan in. They will keep the infield in. Here's the pitch to Holler. Five, three, first base X. Lefevre is a three. 
and a 15. And a 15. Not in range. You need to be a 16 to be in range. Lefevre is an E10. So they'll probably cut this runner down at the plate. Ooh, E10 and a 3, and he might not make this play. No, he bobbles it. And everybody is safe. He's trying to throw home and bobbled it, and everybody is safe. Scoring from third is Mays. Going to third is Hart. And the Giants have a three to two lead. Get all our running stats here. And he runs 7 11. Actually, runs better than Burton does, I think. All right. Tito Fuentes now up. One down. And they'll play the infield normal now with. Try to get the double play. And here's the pitch to Fuentes. 4-4, four, four, center field X. That is an 8. Center fielder is Parker. He's a 3. And an 8 is a fly ball. Racing in, he makes the catch, and everybody holds up. So they're not getting quite the rolls they want of those X chances. Two down, and I'll bring up McCormick. Infield back to normal. Five, seven, ground ball to second. And Alcaraz gets it and retires the side. But not until the Giants send eight men to the plate and get three runs. And we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. With due up is Parker Johnson. And we may get a pinch hitter for Ferrara. But we'll see. We may just leave Ferrara in. All right. Here's Wes Parker. Three, six, draws a walk. And this is a point of weakness ending for the Giants, and they will get Frank Lindsay loosening in the pen, maybe to get a six-out save. Here's Lou Johnson. Four, seven, swing on a miss, strike three. Second time Johnson's been down on strikes. I'll bring up... Yeah, Ferrara does okay against lefties. All right, we'll keep him in. Three, eight, swing and a miss, strike three. So, two down. And that'll bring up Lefevre, the switch hitter, betting right-handed. Two, 12. That would have been a super advanced home run chance, but this is advanced, so this is a fly ball to left. And that will retire the side as Alou catches it. We go to the ninth. Giants lead three to two and would love to get an insurance run. And top of the order due up for the Giants, Alou, Lanier, and McCovey. And here's the pitch from Morrigan to Alou. Five, nine, one to ten, triple chance. That's a four, and Alou races the third, and he's in there with a dive. And now they will definitely get hold the infield in here. Here's 
Here's Hellenier. Ooh. Yes, I think they're going to call for it. They are going to call for the suicide squeeze. Now, hold on a second. I'm going to look up the rule book to see if they're allowed to do that with the infield in timeout. So, yes, you can with the infield in. So, Lanier will square around a bunt. He will be a B bunter. Regan pitches. There goes Alou. Squares around. Oh boy, this is going to be a double play, I think. B and a 12 squeeze. Pops it up. Osteen gets it. Or not Osteen, Regan gets it. And then... Throws the third. And that's a 1-5 double play. Dang nabbit. Two down, base is empty, and here's McCovey. Six, 12, 12 rolls coming again. Pitcher X, that's a one. And with Regan being a two, he will make the play. No, he won't. That'll get through for a single. Of course it will. And that'll bring up Willie Mays. Three, five, draws a walk. So first and second with two down. And I'll bring up Jim Ray Hart, who doubled in a couple runs. Doubled in a run his first his last time up. Six three to the left fielder, but I think this will be easy enough for Johnson. And I almost even need to look, and it is. So the double play thwarts the the rally. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Giants lead three to two. <sighs> and do up for the. Dodgers will do up is Bailey, Campanis, and Alcaraz, but we're probably going to get pinch hitters for Campanis and Alcaraz. We'll have Bailey hit. And here's the pitch to Bailey. Two, four. Oh, line drive caught by the second baseman. Fuentes, one down. And... Uh, Campanis will be called back. Mm -hmm. uh, Willie Davis will come in and pinch hit for Campanis. And we'll have somebody else bat for Alcaraz as well. And here's Willie Davis. Four, seven, swing and a miss, strike three. Two down. And we'll get a pinch hitter for... Here, just in case. And Ron Fairley will grab a bat for and bat for Alcaraz. And here's the pitch to Fairley. Three, five, and he draws a walk. And they will use another pinch hitter to bat for the pitcher spot. Let me see, Fairley runs at an 11. Let's see who do we want to 
to get the bat fur. No. I have Ron Hunt bat for Regan. All right, and here's Ron Hunt. Six, eight, and that's a 17, and that's a base hit. And runners on first and third, and they are the Giants are going to make a call to the bullpen. They will bring in Frank Lindsay. Not wanting to try to overextend. I know it's kind of a BS move to not have him pitch the rest of the game, but. <sighs> okay, so. Lindsay will try to get the final out as McCormick just pitched to his 36th batter. And Lindsay will try to get the final out. Here's Nate Oliver. One, eight. And that's a ground ball to third. Up with it is Hart. And in the words of RJL, pumps once, pumps twice, throws the first, and that's your ball game. Final score from Dodger Stadium. The Giants with a come from behind win, win three to two, and we'll be right back with the stats. All right, final line score. Giants, three runs, 11 hits, no errors. Dodgers, two runs, six hits, and the one costly error that caused the go-ahead run to score in the seventh inning. Um, McCormick will get the win. He went eight and two-thirds. Couldn't quite get the last batter. So Lindsay picked up the save. Uh, went eight and two-thirds, gave up two earned runs, four walks, and six strikeouts. His starts totals for the year, 213 and two-thirds innings pitched, 73 earned runs, 69 walks, and 131 strikeouts with a 3.07 ERA. All right, there are only three more starts left after this in this project. And the next start will be uh, against the Cubs. I know they just faced the Cubs, but he will be going back to face the Cubs. And facing the Cubs... Or the Cubs pitcher that day will be Ferguson Jenkins. So another another matchup between McCormick and Jenkins. And we'll bring that to you next time. All right, everybody, like, comment, subscribe. If you've not already subscribed, please hit the bell icon, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good day, everybody.